is up my ninjas all right we got a gameplay here by aog ghost he is playing hardcore free for all and he will dominate the competition 30 and 8 game here now um i i see he's playing hardcore i don't know if he's a if he plays hardcore all the time but for me you know I'm, i've never been a huge fan of hardcore game types mostly because i just fail at them the only reason I ever played Hardcore in Modern Warfare 2 was to do the challenges for the intervention with the silencer on it because, you know, you could easily get kills in Hardcore because of the damage. <coughs> but, um, I mean, I, like I said, I've never been a huge fan of Hardcore. But, um, he, he's got a pretty nice 30 and 8 free for all Hardcore gameplay here. Rocking the AK 47, which is by far one of my, f it's like my favorite gun. AK-47 and a Commando are my like favorite guns in this game. Oh, and then he gets picked off by the M16. Um, but I mean, I know a lot of people like Hardcore because there is no, uh, what's it called, kill cams. And um, kill cams aren't like a, a big thing for me. Like obviously they help you out a lot because uh, when someone kills you, you can see them. And I think that's what like that's a big problem for a lot of people but to me it seems like it's only gonna be a problem if you're a camper if you're camping and trying to just pick people off you're gonna be happy that there's no kill cams because that way you can just keep sitting there and people aren't gonna know where you are but if you're actually good and you don't just sit there and camp like a hoe then uh... <clears throat> you know that i don't see a problem in it because like for me even when i snipe like i don't just sit in the same spot and i'll snipe someone run around pick somebody else off but, uh, you know, you see too many people in this game that just camp, and it, sometimes it's like full teams, like they just go in there and they're like, everyone just sit in the corner, and all we're going to do is camp, and it's just, it's like, what's the point of playing? Like, you're going to spend $60 to just sit in a corner and look at someone down a hallway. Like, I don't understand the point of that. And, and it's, it's just like, you, you're not, you're not skilled, you're just being a fag, just sitting in the corner like a bitch, and it's like. You know, you can call me, you can say I'm complaining, but I know other people feel exactly the way I do. That campers, they're just stupid. They they should have it, so if you sit in the same spot for a certain amount of time, a timer comes up and you have a certain amount of seconds to get the hell out of there, they're just going to kill you. Because it, it's like, it's annoying. And I, I don't even get me started on spawns in this game. But, um, you know, you could easily spawn rate people. There's a video by my friend Corn Scout that shows just the terrible spawning in this game and it's on nuketown and it's just ridiculous but um you know he's sitting up here patrolling and that I mean to me i've always thought that there's a difference between camping and patrolling you know camping is honestly just sitting in the same spot looking down the hallway patrolling you know you're running back and forth in a certain area you know picking people off you know and that's fine with me. You can go ahead and, you know, patrol back and forth, keep running around, you know, looking for people to kill. But when you're just sitting in a corner, looking down there, waiting for someone to walk in front of you so you can shoot them or you can knife them, like, that's just annoying. Especially when people just sit, like, right at a door and wait for you to walk through and you, they just knife you. Like, what's the point? Like, there's guns in this game and they actually made it so that you can walk around. Why are you going to stand there or just sit there in the corner? waiting for someone to like walk by you know and it's just to me it's just annoying that's why you know I'm really digging this gameplay because he's not just sitting in the corner you know he picks some people off he'll patrol an area and then run somewhere else and pick other people off you know and that's like that's what the game's supposed to be about ooh look at this stealing and booby trapping a freaking care package I've never booby trapped a care package before I've only um I've only picking them up, but that's pretty much it. And I don't know what perk you get, like what you have to have pro to do it. But um, look at this kid. Ah, oh, I thought it was gonna be a turn on. I was about to say this cut, this cut, <laughs> this kid's garbage, cause uh, he was shooting him, but uh, he ended up picking off Ghost here. Oh, and he gets him with the booby trap. Nice, nice. Now um, you know a lot of people. They use like the care packages and stuff. I, I personally, I'll use them, but I, I honestly hate using them because, you know, you never want to get killed. And it, that's the easiest way to kill people is 
running after them, waiting for right when they're about to pick up their care package. You just get the easy kill right there, you pick them off. And sometimes you get like the idiots that are like, let's get our whole team to stand next to this care package. And you just pick them off one by one. You're like, dub, 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 and dub. And, um, I mean, like, that's, I think there's a, I think there's a, there's a pretty bad, you know, like, skill level difference in this game. Like, that's one thing that I liked about <clears throat> Halo 3 was, you know, they only put you in games with, like, people that were pretty close to your, uh, to your rank. So that way you're, you're kind of playing with people at the same level that you are, you know? In this game, you know, it's just, you can start off the game and get thrown into a, a game with like five seventh prestiges and you're like, oh shit, you know? But I mean, I'm not saying that like prestige means anything because, you know, there are people that are higher prestiges than I am. I barely play that much anymore. I'm only a second prestige and I, I mean, I can still beat the crap out of them because the fact of the matter is a lot of people in this game just really... They're, they're predictable in a way, like you already know what they're going to do. You're like, oh, okay, you're going to take out this and you're going to try to kill me. And it's just like, there's no point in it, you know? Like, I, I know what most people are going to try to do. And especially, and depending on what map you are, you can easily tell, you know, where they're going to be at. And then you got the, the grudge holders. You know, the grudge holders are just, like, they're, they're the easiest pick-offs. Because you kill them, they just run right back at you. You know they're going to come back. You kill them. They get even more pissed off and they just come back and try to kill you again. <coughs> but you know back to the gameplay ghost here um he he got that sentry gun i don't know if that guy took it out but uh he also has a attack helicopter and this guy tries to dolphin dive surprise him ah uh, looked like he tried to do like a hip fire and then zoomed in but at least he killed him with his hatred copter and um you know on hardcore that sets I would say that's pretty good because you know you don't have a UAV you can't technically really see where the, the helicopter is going unless you're looking up in the air you know but uh, that was a terrible spawn pick off right there like that that's what I'm talking about the you spawn and get picked off the second you start it's just like they'll spawn you and then they'll spawn a guy like right behind you and you're just like seriously but um, for those of you who don't know, Ghost, he is in the clan that I am in, AOG Anarchist of Gaming. He is Admiral of Valkyrie Squad, or Valkyrie Faction, sorry. Um, he, he's, a, he's a really good player. I love playing with him. You know, we always, you know, dominate the other team. It's fun to play. We always mess around. Uh, zombies, I, me, him, and a couple other people were playing Zombies not too long ago, and it was just a blast. He's he's a really awesome person. <clears throat> so, you know, I definitely would say, you know, check him out on the site. Uh, sign up. Join Valkyrie. You know, play with him. Play some games with him. He's an awesome person. <coughs> Sorry for the, the coughing. I think there's uh, something in my throat. Hey, oh. Kind of gay for me, but hey, oh. Um, look at him just slide down those stairs. Like, so like ballerina like the way his stance was but um you know like I said the spawning in this game is just uh, but you know for me it's like first person shooters in general are just getting stale like bullet storm the, the what they did with the duty calls video like couldn't have gotten it more accurate it's just it gets so boring nowadays like I can't play Call of Duty for too long because I just get bored of it. I can't play Battlefield Bad Company 2, one, because I'm not very good at it, and two, it just gets boring to me. Medal of Honor was fun for me for a while, but again, you know, just like, same thing, same shit, different look, you know what I mean? And, um, that's like Bulletstorm, you know, they say, uh, bringing the fun back in the gun or whatever. That, I mean, I think that that's true because if anyone has played the demo, you know, it's it's fun. Like, all the different ways you can, like, kill people and stuff like that. Which is a terrible thing to say, which is something terrible that's, <laughs> that's with our, uh, our, our youth these days. That we, we have, we need to have different ways to kill people to have fun. It's a terrible fucking world we live in. <laughs> but, um... I, mean, I think it's true. I, uh, I also, you know, games that I'm excited for, Mortal Kombat. I am a big MK fan. I was raised on Mortal Kombat ever since I was a little kid. You know, I play Mortal Kombat on my Sega Genesis. But anyways, AOG Ghost gets the last kill. Uh, picks off this guy right when he runs in, I believe. Victory. And, um, 
you know that is it for this video please come back check later I'm recording for some more people uh, that was AOG Ghost like I said Faction Admiral of Valkyrie go on the site check them out check out all the other people we're, we're a really big growing clan we almost have like 500 people now and uh, you know subscribe rate comment and I will see you guys next time